with the viewers you are welcome to my home you are welcome to a land where nothing is impossible i want to discuss about two three sets of people that are not good for business if you have this problem please you are not good for business number one if you have this kind of line in your hand, your own line is like this, cut like this. If you go out for business, you are, you are on the risk of losing money. The only thing you are good for, that you manifest very well, you are good to work in the office. And when you handle office work, you are great. So, if you have your you you opportunity to be a parent and you notice the line in your daughter, your child's hand is like this, please let that child go to school very well so that he can be in an office. He or she can be in an office. Yes. Number two, if you entertain people so much. <laughs> You are very good in entertaining people too much. You are not good for marketing. Yes. You will not know when you entertain your enemy. As well as, as, well as you will not know when you entertain angels. You are good entertaining people, telling them all the secrets in you. You entertain your enemy and they will use the word against you. When you tell them all the secrets of your business, of your coming blessing, of your breakthrough, <laughs> they'll take it to a meeting, to a witchcraft meeting, and deliberate over it. Before it comes to reality, they'll abort it. I pray for you as I pray for myself. That anything, any power that I've been using your word, against you. I command that power to collide with the rock of ages. Enough is enough. God Almighty will not let them succeed over you. Then, if you are very always, your advice is always keep your mouth shut. Don't tell people your problem. You know, attempt to tell them your problem. They will add more problem to it. Attempt to tell them, those that you think they are your friend, please close one of your eyes. Then you will know who is your friend. I mean, closing your eye, I don't mean physical eye like this. Pretend that you are not feeling fine. You know who is who. You know, you know who loves you. Mm. At the same time, the last set of people, there are sort of people that have six toes. I mean, six toes. One, two, three, four, five, normal. Six. If you meet a woman with six toes, please, when you marry her, you are married trouble. And when you meet a woman, a man with six toes, the day he will come back home with grass or anything on that feet, calamity will begin to befall that house. If she is a woman, dead will begin to befall her marriage. Yes. I have a, a story of a woman called Amina. You see this Amina, long ago, She's of my mother's age. She's not even on earth again. She's late already. This woman, she has six toes. Any day she grow annoyed in her husband's home, one elder will die. <laughs> People will say, how could that happen? Yes, it happens. Because it signifies different things in the spirit realm. She is born with trouble. She is born with trouble. And if you have that kind of child, please always sacrifice for her. 
always give her a sacrifice so that she will not be angry. And if you are unfortunately you marry that kind of woman in your house, please don't provoke her to anger. Her angry will cause death in the family. And an addition, if you have you yourself you notice you have six toes please don't be angry calm down because your angry will destroy a lot and it's not your fault i pray for you as i pray for myself any power that is using you to destroy souls i command that power to collide with the rock of ages that power will not see the next sunlight in jesus name god bless you you are welcome to my home please subscribe